Tandem's in the van. You know what that means. Back of the gravel pack on the road again. Heading to Arkansas this weekend. Hazel Valley Rally. This little guy's going for his first gravel race. Arch. Saddle up, partner. Whoa, look at that guy. Hazel Valley Rally. Near Bentonville-ish. Northwest Arkansas. 100% gravel route advertised. Don't know that I've ever done 100 percenter. Quite looking forward to this event. Looking forward to the trip this weekend. It's in the 70s out here right now, so it feels hot as can be. It's gonna cool off for tomorrow. Big wind, gonna be an interesting drive down in this van. But uh, looking forward to it. Road trip, here we go. trip as a family of four. <laughs> Pretty tight squeeze out front. Yeah. Not much real estate here for the dogs. Oh dear. Clearly we see who the good cop in the family is. So today's forecast was 25 mile an hour winds just up to 50 or something. And I can confirm if that's the forecast, which you probably don't want to do is to drive a nine foot tall van crossways in that wind like three and a half hours it's been uh, it's been a trying drive so i may be too tired to ride the bike tomorrow just from driving this thing through this wind so even in kansas some days it's just too windy today's one of those days We got enough food for like a family of six. Murph, what do you think? We're sitting in a parking lot mm -hmm. in Bentonville. There must be something going on tonight because it's crowded. Whew, this backlit pretty well. The good news is we made it 8.30. Hog Valley Resort or something like that. And uh I'm glad to be done driving. Race day. You ready, Mark? 7 a.m. Eh, closer to 7.30 now. We're never actually on time. What the heck of a place? Hazel Valley Ranch. Check in. Take the helicopter, I guess. You guys are so bad. <laughs> Ready, Cass? Yep. Three, two, one, go. We have way too much fun today. Three. Ah, seriously? Started. Good news, our chain already fell off within about 10 seconds. Sorry. So here we are. We found another tandem, but I lost them. Here we go. Oh, we're out of gears. Yeah. No, that was a joke. Terrible joke. Started with a nice long climb up the pavement. It's a nice way to start a race, I guess. Get your muscle going right away. Felt, felt that one, huh? Yeah. Immediately regret. 
Should have had less pizza yesterday. I thought we were done. That was a hill. I think it was you that. Looks like the gravel's about to start. Okay. It's uh, for 2.7 miles in, and we just stopped climbing. I'm gonna die. We're gonna shedding some layers here in a sec. Um, I'm out of shape. It's April, and we ride 200 April miles in two months. So, yeah, this is not a joke. I'm out of shape. Uh, so yeah, we got some things to improve upon. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering if that back tire's a little low. Eight point seven five miles in. Well, it looks worse when we're on it. Um, our tire was a little low. Probably can't tell, but still climbing. Still going. I'm ready for some snacks. Hi, friends. It is time for another snacks from the back. It's been a little while. We kept you hanging. Before we start, huge shout out to the feed. They hooked us up with these awesome snacks. Um, what we brought today, I am actually really excited about. I hope I'm not let down. It is Betty Lou's cherry fruit bar. And it says it tastes like a piece of pie. It's a bold statement. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Back to our cherry pie fruit bar situation. Kids love them. I'm not a kid, but I hope I love it. This is non-GMO, vegan, and gluten-free if you're looking for that kind of thing. What do you mean, no gluten? I like extra gluten. We'll start with the opening. Not great. Doesn't tear super awesome. I'm ripping my pie in half. Minus one on that. This is what it looks like. A little square. Some kind of like a Fig Newton sort of look yeah, to Fig it. Newton. Fig Newton. Hopefully it tastes better than a Fig Newton. I'm still processing. That's pretty good. Super sweet. Mm-hmm. I'd prefer it to be a little tart. It tastes more like an apple pie than cherry pie. It's not too shabby though. I did that again. What do you think? Still processing. It's nice and soft. So that's cool. It's not super chewy. Yeah, I didn't eat that. Yeah, it's a little sweet, but I like it. I like it. I'd get that again. Yeah, I like it. I'd recommend. If you like sweet, not I'd, tart. I'd get that. Again. But it kind of tastes like an apple pie to me, not a cherry pie. But I don't know if I like it. That. Betty Lou's cherry fruit bar. There you go. What did you think? You didn't give me your thoughts. I give it a seven. Five. Give it a seven. Yeah, I, the I points are made it. up and they mean nothing. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Well, we're going downhill and then probably uphill again, so I'm gonna get off this thing. But thanks again to the feed. We appreciate these amazing snacks. They are awesome. Just over 10 and a half miles in. And check this out. And we gotta drop downhill. The new logo. We've got stickers, everybody. Reach out for a sticker. If we see you, we'd love to give you one.
that is a view. We are between the first and second checkpoint, maybe half-ish, and I'm feeling it. These climbs are not easy on this tandem, so it's good uh, fitness gains today. And the roads and the route is, as advertised, pretty, pretty amazing views all around. We're like up on a ridge most of the time. Been digging that for sure. Pump, Cassie. They are a little bumpy there, I'll say that. Okay, we are through checkpoint two, which is like 20, I don't know, five. Still in the 20s. God, oh it feels God. a lot, feels a lot worse. Feels like a lot further than that. I'm kind of toast right now. We haven't even hit the four mile climb yet. So it's gonna be a day. We were both just commenting that was a wonderful checkpoint for supplies. They had scratch, mix and choose. We get strawberries, Oreos, Cheetos. Cheetos and Doritos, Banana. bananas. It was pretty well stocked, so that was cool. Thank you to, I think it was the Oz Trail group. Yep. Oh, we might have a big descent coming. Stand by. but the views are very nice. How you doing up there? I've been better. Yeah, we've both been better. I have hard contacts and anyone with regular contacts, you might have issues with dust, but imagine something hard in your eye that just catches everything and you feel everything terribly in your eyeball. That's where I'm at. So dust, wind, hard contacts do not mix. So, all my, like nothing's coming out of sweat. I'm losing all my, all my water is tears today, which is not fun. I'm really glad we didn't do the long route. I might yeah. die. I am not good at climbing. I'm gonna lose a lot of climbing. All right, quick bonus snacks from the back before we start climbing. A million miles. Four miles. My favorite Cheetos to the rescue. God. This is rough. Four mile five. But go. listen, if you need something salty, eat these. They're fabulous. Somebody has lost like a quart of wood on this freaking road. Every couple hundred yards, there's another piece of wood. So if you're looking for some firewood, just follow our path. There's plenty in the middle of the freaking road. Also, this hill sucks. We're still going uphill. It's been a long time. And it's awful. Still not a climber. It sucks. It's very pretty though. We stopped the look. Can finally say with confidence that four mile hill is over. God, that sucked. Granted, we have no fitness and whatnot, and we're on a tandem, but God, that was rough. Our pace, this might be an all time low. <laughs> we're not even averaging 10 at this point on a 45 mile ride. This has been a suffer fest for me. Um, we are a little more in our element right now. It's a little more flat, real windy. <laughs> it's a lot more smooth, smooth gravel. So uh, our average mile per hour is going up a little bit. Um, 
Whew. Yeah, we're passing everybody because we're actually fat on, fat. we're fast on the flat. <laughs> I'm kind of fat right now. We're faster on the flat, so uh, we're doing better. But I'm, I'm ready for the after party and the chili and a beer. We certainly earned it today. We still haven't hit an average of 10 miles an hour. We're still under that. So uh, I'm ready to be done. This wind is killer. It's something always. But we're getting the air. Just finished. That was that was tough. How you doing over there? Oh, I keep getting stuff in my eye. I'm not crying, I promise. We're so slow they're already doing podiums and stuff. <laughs> what? There's swings. Oh, okay, this is happening. Have you ever been so beat that you got back to your vehicle? You went, had a little bit of chili, a little bit of beer, and you just sacked out in your gravel van until literally everybody else left. It's six o'clock, six o'clock. We're just now leaving from a 45 mile ride. We started at 10. We got our money's worth, eh? Here we are day after the race, trying to recover from that gravel hangover. Heck an event yesterday. I think we're both feeling a little bit still this morning. Get that going so hard, you get that congestion in your uh, lungs. So still getting that. Legs are a little bit sore, but beautiful day in Northwest Arkansas. Got the van cleaned up enough to hit the road. So we're gonna head out, maybe grab some brunch in town, maybe look around, go to the dog park. Uh, spend a little time here in the area before we head back north. Appreciate you tuning in this week. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We've got a lot coming up in the coming weeks. So uh, if you haven't done so already, be awesome if you could subscribe it really helps the channel out and uh, we'll see you next time